Hello, ninth graders. This is Ms. Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe, and sound. In this tutorial, I will discuss the material included for week number eight. So let's start with the first day, the 22nd of October. In this lesson, we are going to start with the second grammar topic titled or called Subject Complements. We are going to spend two lessons working on this topic. As for the main objectives or the lesson objectives we have, you'll be able to examine, discover subject complements in a sentence, and you're going to explain the organization of subject, linking verb and complements in a sentence pattern. As for the word wall, essential words, we have subject complements, linking verbs, adjectives, noun, nouns, noun phrase, and prepositional phrase. Uh, on the BC, you're going to find an ebook interactive lesson on Savas where you can click on the image and access the interactive activities. You also have aiding resources such as tutorials um, and also other interactive activities in reference to subject complements, as you can see here. Um, now, for the second day, as I mentioned, we are going to continue working and explaining and working on different activities in reference to the same subject, which is subject complements. Um, we have nominative predicates, adjectival predicates, and so on. Here you can find uh, another ebook lesson or interactive activity where you can, you can read the rules, understand them, and then apply the rules in the practice questions. You have also tutorials and other interactive activities to work on. As for the third day uh, of this week, you are going to present your A1 project on the 24th. I've mentioned this in class and I sent you an email informing you. So we are, you are going to present uh, your final product, which is the survival story, a photo gallery. Um, I've, as you can see here, the block. Um, Group, all the groups, three groups, present on this day, Tuesday, October the 24th. You're going to present for 15 minutes. You need to dedicate three minutes for collaboration, questions and answers. Uh, make sure that you only use flashcards as a reference while you are presenting. Remember, it's a presentation. It's not a reading lesson. You can't have your laptops and iPads while you are, you are presenting. Um, yeah, and that's it. And this is the rubric. Make sure that you go over it to know exactly the assessment categories. Now, on the fourth day of this week, we're going to have a debate class. Uh, please go over the tutorials to understand the rules of a debate class, uh, the requirements. The debate will revolve around death penalty. In this interactive activity, you're going to find the objective, the material needed, the duration of time, how we are going to start. Team A will, talk, will be in favor of death penalty, and team B will be against death penalty, and so on. We're going to organize it in class. As for the fifth day, the last day of this week, we are going to uh, um, write a reflection. It's more of journal writing, specifically photo analysis. Okay. So this lesson involves critical thinking, creative thinking, connections, and of course, analyzing photos, okay? Here you have a PPT on the, I would say, uh, reflective writing, the components, the rules, obligations, and so on. You have also tutorials to aid your understanding of ref reflective writing. You have also a tutorial to uh, expl explain to you how to analyze a photo. This is a photo gallery that you are going to um, um, reflect on. Um, you need to write down three reflective words for each photo and then you need to build a connection between these two photos using the photo in the middle uh, and you need to make sure to use symbols. Of course you need to write this in your notebooks. Okay? Okay. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.